Union Test Preps, Anatomy and Physiology Practice Test for the HESI Exam, Part 2. There will be a brief pause after answer choices are given. This is a great time to pause the video to solve. Question 1. Where in the human body would you find the medulla oblongata? A. Brain. B. Heart. C. Kidney. D. Liver. The correct answer is A. Brain. The medulla oblongata is located in the brain, more specifically in the brain stem. It plays crucial roles in controlling autonomic functions such as heart rate, breathing, blood pressure, and reflexes like swallowing and vomiting. Question 2. Which of the following terms best describes the movement that decreases the angle between two body parts? A. Extension B. Abduction C. Flexion D. Adduction The correct answer is C. Flexion Flexion is a movement that decreases the angle between two body parts. For instance, bending the elbow or flexing the bicep decreases the angle between the forearm and the upper arm. It's the opposite of extension, which increases the angle. Question 3. Which type of cells form the brain's gray matter? A. Astrocytes. B. Oligodendrocytes. C. Neurons. D. Microglia. The correct answer is C. Neurons. Neurons, or nerve cells, constitute the primary structural and functional units of the nervous system. Gray matter in the brain consists primarily of neuron cell bodies, dendrites, and unmyelinated axons, as well as glial cells. It plays a crucial role in processing information and controlling behavior. Question 4. Which structure is known as the voice box? A. Pharynx B. Trachea C. Larynx D. Esophagus The correct answer is C. Larynx. The larynx, located at the top of the windpipe, is commonly referred to as the voice box. It houses the vocal cords and is responsible for voice production, as well as providing a passageway for air to reach the lungs. When we speak or sing, the vocal cords within the larynx vibrate to produce sound. Question 5. The primary role of the hypothalamus in the endocrine system is to what? A. Produce and release adrenaline. B. Regulate blood calcium levels. C. Produce insulin and glucagon. D. Regulate the pituitary gland. The correct answer is D. Regulate the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus is a small region of the brain that plays a crucial role in the endocrine system. It connects the nervous system to the endocrine system via the pituitary gland. The hypothalamus produces and releases hormones that can either stimulate or inhibit the hormones of the pituitary gland, thus regulating its activity. Question 6. In the sequence of the heart's electrical system, what is the correct order? A. AV node, SA node, bundle of his, Purkinje fibers. B. SA node, AV node, Purkinje fibers, bundle of his. C. SA node, AV node, bundle of his, Purkinje fibers. D. AV node, SA node, 
Perkinji Fibers, bundle of his. The correct answer is C, SA Node, AV Node, bundle of his, Perkinji Fibers. The heart's electrical conduction system regulates the rate and rhythm of the heartbeat. It starts with the sinoatrial node, SA node, generating an electrical impulse, which then travels to the atrioventricular node, AV node. From there, it goes to the bundle of his, which branches into the left and right bundle branches that continue down to the ends of the Purkinje fibers. This sequence ensures the heart's chambers contract in the correct order. Question 7. Which cranial nerve is responsible for transmitting visual information from the retina to the brain? A. Olfactory nerve, 1. B. Optic nerve, 2. C. Vestibulocochlear nerve, 8. D. Hypoglossal nerve, 12. The correct answer is B, optic nerve, 2. The optic nerve, also known as cranial nerve 2, is responsible for transmitting visual information from the retina to the brain. This nerve carries the impulses formed by the retina, the nerve layer that lines the back of the eye and senses light and creates impulses. These impulses are dispatched through the optic nerve to the brain, which interprets them as images. Question 8. What is the functional unit of the kidney? A. Alveoli. B. Neuron. C. Nephron. D. Myofibril. The correct answer is C. Nephron. The nephron is the basic structural and functional unit of the kidney. Each kidney contains about a million nephrons, which are responsible for filtering blood, removing waste products, and creating urine. They do this through a process that involves filtration, reabsorption, secretion, and excretion. Question 9. In males, where does spermatogenesis occur? A. Prostate gland. B. Vas deferens. C. Seminiferous tubules. D. Urethra. The correct answer is C. Seminiferous tubules. Spermatogenesis, the process of sperm cell production, occurs in the seminiferous tubules of the testes in males. These tightly coiled tubes are where the spermatogenic cells divide and transform into sperm cells. Question 10. Which bone is not found in the human arm? A. Ulna. B. Radius. C. Humerus. D. Femur. The correct answer is D. Femur. The femur, or thigh bone, is the largest bone in the human body and is located in the leg, not the arm. The arm consists of the humerus in the upper arm and the radius and ulna in the forearm. Looking for more study help? Get additional free practice tests, study guides, and flashcards for the HESI exam at uniontestprep.com slash exam.